Hello friends, welcome again to my channel Simply Art by Ritu Kamar. I hope that you have been watching the previous videos that I have uploaded on my channel on travel and art where uh, we travel to different regions and I was painting portraits in watercolor of the local people over there. If you have missed any of those episodes, I have pasted a link of them in the description box below. In the last episode, I painted a watercolor portrait of a shy Kumauni lady and that is something I really enjoyed doing. Also in the last episode, you saw a glimpse of the Jula Devi temple near Rani Khed. This 8th century temple is in Chaubatya near Rani Khed. Earlier, a number of wild animals like tigers and leopards inhabited the dense forest near the temple. The temple is dedicated to Goddess Durga and is well known for its cluster of bells. Local people believe that Goddess Durga is the protector of the people of the valley. People believe that whosoever ties a bell on the temple wall is granted with his or her wish in due course of time. Today I'm going to paint a watercolor portrait of the priest of this temple. The priest and his family reside in a small house in the temple premises. He is always seen reading religious texts or just resting near the temple. I'm going to start my painting by drawing a sketch of him. While painting this portrait, I have first covered the entire area with a diluted burnt sienna color. After this dries up, I'm going to layer it with the darker colors and define the face. Sometimes we use a wet on wet technique, but for the portrait painting, I am using the wet on dry technique. In this technique, we don't wet the paper, but simply apply the wet paint on dry surface of the paper. The paper I have used is cancel cold pressed watercolor paper. This is an amazing paper and very well suited for doing watercolors. As I keep progressing doing this watercolor, slowly as the layers below dry, I keep defining the face further and further, taking out minor details. While making the portrait, I have used three brushes, all are round brushes. One is a thick brush, the other one is medium brush and one is a very thin hairline brush, the number of which is triple zero. I use the triple zero brush to take out really very fine and minute details like stroke of the hair and eyelashes. Largely while doing portraits, the color palette almost remains the same using burnt sienna, oranges, crimsons, a dash of white and black here and there and that is how we compose the color skin tone. And as I mentioned before, in the earlier episode, as the light falls across the face, the color tones of the face itself change various shades.
Panditji's expression was extremely gentle. He had a very, very gentle smile on his face and a light twinkle in his eyes. It was a little tough bringing those characteristics to the forefront. And I hope while doing this portrait, I have done some justice to this. Thank you for watching this episode and watching me paint the Panditji's portrait in watercolor. If you have liked this episode, please give me a thumbs up, share and subscribe to my channel. Till we meet again the next time, be safe. Bye.